We're here at uh, Computex 2018, and uh, who are you? I'm Jared Peck with Western Digital, and we're here to talk to you a little bit about the Western Digital Black uh, SSD. And the Western Digital Black SSD is uh, our, one of our newest and fastest SSDs out there. So this is a one terabyte NVMe drive. It goes up to about 3,400 megabytes per second by itself. And uh, one of these is about uh, 399 right now uh, in the US price. 3,400. 3,400 megabytes per second in a single drive. So you think for most things that you're doing, that is going to improve and, and be faster than anything that you, you've ever seen on your PC before. But if this is not enough for you, then you can, you can, uh, you can, you can combine a bunch of them? Well, we go up to... We're a storage company, so we yeah. like to see where the limits are. So we, we've actually, what we got running here today is, you know, we'd say that you could do one card here with four of them, but what we've actually plugged into the system is two cards. So we have a total of eight drives running in, uh, running in RAID. Basically. And in a RAID, you can go up to 19 gigabytes per second. Is That's right. It's almost, almost 20 there. We're, we're talking about actually, actually serious, serious speed. And, and with that, you can do things like, of course, get into your game quicker, uh, reboot quicker, and do all of those things. But also, if you're, even if you're doing things like uh, rendering video, you can take a WD Black drive there, and, and by putting it in, you're going to be basically able to render 8K video and things like that in, in virtually real time. So you could do potentially 8K, 120 frames per second, uh, the most advanced cameras that might be out there, and start editing videos. And, and your storage will not be the bottleneck at that point. So you, they, it, this is the way to make sure that your storage is never the thing you're waiting on. Or maybe some very advanced 3D rendering kind of stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so these are available right now on Amazon? These are available, yeah, right now on, on Amazon. And uh, the price is around the... Uh, it's around uh, 399 for a one terabyte. And are there like laptops where you can just plug that in? And Absolutely. We have a lot of laptops. We've been uh, running some of these around the campus as well. So definitely great for gaming on the laptop or for you know anything else that you're needing to do at that point. And this kind of board is in the, uh, the industry is providing, for example, Asus has one and some maybe some uh, did you just combine a bunch of them. They do. And what we've done is we this is just a, just a way to do a PCIe splitter basically so that you can combine a bunch of cards together and put it into one slot. And uh, PCIe uh, supports this high bandwidth. Standard. Absolutely. It's just like account. absolutely. PCIe even has opportunities in the future to go to go further. But but what we'd say is we think that this is uh, this is about the fastest I've seen storage the ever go. The fastest storage so. ever. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. You don't have a faster one, right? Not no, yet. Not, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> cool. And what are you showing behind there? Right here. So over here we're showing off just some of our partners. Uh, this this is a great panel with our iBuy Power um, system. And it's one of their optional upgrades where they have an LCD screen that actually... And it uh, also could be have one of those boards in there, maybe? Uh, this one is absolutely yeah. running our boards inside because all yeah. of our systems here are showing off the, uh, the WD Black NVMe SSD. It's also a nice uh, case. Yes, absolutely. With some uh, red, red uh, syrup cooling. Absolutely. This is one of the Inman's uh, special custom gaming cases. And so it's an exclusive uh, product that they've got a few of. Nice. And, uh, what else are you showing around here? So the other things that we're talking about is, is our, our portable yeah. SSDs. And so with portable SSDs, we really have the opportunity, sorry, we've got the opportunity with the portable SSDs uh, to address different customers and different, um, to address different needs in the market. So we have our SanDisk brand that we've known for quite a long time. Where this we're is really, a terabyte. That one's one terabyte, but it comes in up to two. How heavy is this? It's tiny. It's uh, ounces. It's it's yeah. It's really really light. And uh, then you get a Type C. We do have Type C, but it's a waterproof Type C too. And so with oh. that, we're really looking at something that's great for photography because you can take it out into the field. If you drop it on the ground, you drop it in a puddle. It's okay. It's going to keep your data safe. Um, similarly, we have a WD branded product here. And so with our WD branded product, what we're actually doing is. Uh, we're actually giving you encryption, hardware encryption. We're giving you backup software, and a lot of the things that you're going to need as more a, a typical end user or you know someone who's maybe using it around an office. So, really designed to customize for that use. And case. this can also have two ter. This is also up to two terabytes. Um, and uh, what what kind of speeds are we seeing here? Well, with these, we're talking about something that's around 500 megabytes a second. But if you need something, 550 megabytes per second, pardon me. But if you need something a little bit quicker, we actually are showing off as well our G Drive Mobile Pro. And that's the one that's just a little bit bigger over here. And again, it's it's NVMe based. So the same kind of technology we talked about on the uh, WD Black NVMe drive. 
our same technology built into instead uh, an enclosure that actually gives you the ability to plug in through Thunderbolt and get 28 megabytes per second, uh, I'm sorry, 2800 megabytes per second just over one cable there. So that's really, if you need high performance in an external, there's nothing better. Is, and this is uh, up to one terabyte? This is up to one but terabyte. It's bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger, but it's uh, again designed to uh, to use that NVMe drive, so even faster than what you get out of it. So, is this one of those uh, amazing SD card backup solutions? Absolutely. That is, one. that is that is one of our newer products as well. That is our uh, WD um, My Passport SSD. I've got it here if you want to take a look. So previously you had one with four terabyte hard drive, right? But we what, do. what do you have now with the SSD? So what we're doing on the SSD side is we have actually up to, and I don't know if you want to take a look at the uh, port there. It's nicely, uh, it has this bumpy thing, so it's it has a good, proof. a good durable rubber bumper to give you a lot of shock and impact resistance and drop resistance. But what we've done is we, we took the, the what we had before on the My Passport Pro, and we've added actually the SSD technology. It makes it a bit faster, and it makes it a bit more durable, uh, but it's still designed for that uh, ingestion. So you're out in the field, and like, like the video you're taking right now, your camera gets, you know, your car gets full, you take it out, you put it in. This gives you the ability to go ahead and put that memory directly into the drive, back it up in the field. And then if you want to, even work in the field, because you, you take it then and put it in a... Um, you know, you can wirelessly work off of either your phone or your iPad or your laptop just with the content on this drive. And uh, what's the storage up to? This is up to two terabytes. So, but and we do everything from 250 up to 250 gig to two terabytes. And you can do up to 390 megabytes per second because I, yes. I tried the four terabyte hard drive version. It was around 100, yes. maybe, yes. more or less, right? Which is typical of hard drive kind of speeds. And so what we'd say is, if you need something a little bit faster, we want to have that solution too. But it, it just depends on the use case for you. So, uh, but the two terabyte is, uh, the, it would be expensive, right? To have a two terabyte. Two terabyte in an SSD is going to cost a little bit more than a two terabyte in a, in a hard drive. But again, what we'd say is it, it, it really depends. Uh, if you're doing a lot of editing, if you're looking at a lot of content off, it's worth it to have something that's a little bit quicker. Is it poten potentially a new chipset, faster processor that runs the system on there? S similar Maybe. for a lot of what you're yeah. doing on that. Um, the ARM processor. Yeah, a little the processor. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that I will check later. Yeah, yeah. But then with the with the still maybe some some few apps potentially some there's like a community right on the internet. Absolutely. And I think one of the one of the coolest things is we've actually done some work with people like Adobe and others to to be able to get to where you can actually do some of the editing directly off of here in a raw format. So maybe there's like support for Google Drive or Amazon Drive or something where it can even directly back up. There's you don't need a computer. You can, yeah, you can connect directly and have it do those kind of backups as well. Nice. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. This is, this is really intended that if you're out in the field and yeah. you're doing a lot of photography, you have a way to do your backup right there and, and make sure that you're able to work with it. Nice. And it also has a USB uh, host port. I hope, I'm hoping it's a USB 3, but it, I guess not. Maybe. We'll see. The USB It'd be port. nice if you could back up to a second thing at the same time. And and that, that's not what we're doing yet. But okay. <laughs> cool. Maybe it's more also like backing up into this, not up to another... This is their connection back to the computer. But what we do have is we have ports for SD cards and we have ports for uh, others on that front. Okay. Yeah. And uh, over there, you have some, uh, some more demos? Yeah. So the other thing that we were showing off here is our, um, our G Drive Pro. So this is really... Once you've taken all the content that you got out in the field and you go back into the into the you know studio when you're actually doing video editing, this is your drive for that. This, this is, is SSD also. This is SSD. This is one terabyte right for days. So this is a serious like high in enterprise kind of drive built into a desktop case. You said one tera. This is this is up to uh, six point uh, seven. I'm sorry, seven point six eight. So up to almost eight terabytes. Oh, okay. Uh, but again, this is going to scale on cost and uh, performance from that perspective. But again, it'll be 2,800 megabytes per second transfer speeds. And you're able to actually work off of the drive and get uh, high performance if you're doing editing and all. Because if we jump just over there, uh, what's the fastest bandwidth on hard drives today? Because you have the, the Western Digital hard drives right here. Which one's your sure. fastest one? Well, the WD Black is always the fastest. Uh, everything we do in WD Black is, is meant to be our, our fastest products. Uh, this is a 7200 RPM drive. I think it's around it was 150, no, 200, 200, 250 speeds probably on a 7200. 250. So you, uh, with SSD, it allows 10 times faster. 
With the SSD, it's going to be significantly faster. But again, it just depends on what you're trying to trying to do with what the, the storage at that point. And here you have uh, some. Uh, those are uh, th there's different kind of uh, SSD like formats, kind of right? Or do you in one of these is like multiple of these inside, or how does it work? Uh, so they're just different layouts on the board, but it's the same technology inside. This is just a two and a half inch form factor. It's great for most end users because if you typically took out a hard drive or replacing another SSD, you already have something with that shape and it's very easy for people to connect. If you've got some of the new thinner and lighter devices, then the M.2 form factor is very good for that. And so it's just whatever works for your particular computer. And they're all, uh, the latest ones are using all this 3D technology you were talking about last year? Absolutely. We use a 3D NAND and a wide variety of our products. And that allows for more storage, faster bandwidth. Absolutely. It gives it uh, better endurance, faster performance on the memory side, but also just, uh, you know, easily available supply because that's one of the things that we, we want to, you know, we want people to be have access to. What's the latest uh, uh, micro SD st uh, capacity? There's uh, 400, is, uh, you don't have 800 yet, right? We don't have 800 yet. I think 400 is the max for the nice micro SD. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, uh, over here, you're talking about some uh, regular SD cards? So uh, what is industrial? This is more the industrial stuff. So this is more targeted at um, commercial. So people who are trying to integrate cards into things. This side is more sort of the imaging. And so this is more consumers buying things. Or, or we'd say maybe not consumers, but prosumers. Like if you look at an Extreme Pro UHS card, a half a terabyte card, you're probably really looking at someone who's doing a lot of photography or putting it in a drone or something like that. Yeah. So, but uh, this the, in the, in the U UHS 2, the yep. highest capacity is 128 still, right? Yes. You can get uh, 256 or 512 that's still the UHS 1 right. with the Sandisk, right? But some other companies are doing more capacity. Why, why are you not operating yet? Uh, well, okay, I don't want to ask the thing. <laughs> right now, uh, so, but. You are the, the number one in SD cards. In many yes. things, actually, right? Yes. In hard drives? Um, number one or yeah. equivalent, yeah. yeah. What is this one there? This is a reader, card reader. So this is just a, you plug a USB in one end and then it has a compact flash and a SD card and a micro SD card slot. What, what I'd say in these is that we typically are looking for where uh, the majority of the market is um, going to be in terms of capacity. So we look at things like, we want to make sure that you have high enough capacity in an extreme pro card to go. When you get into some of the faster things, sometimes you make trade-offs about whether, how when fast. This, you this little it's an industrial uh, EMMC. This card is, is something that would go into a phone or a tablet or a, yeah. some kind of application. And th these are demos of where the storage goes also and the drones and all these kind of... some other ideas of where in the market this goes into. So you might, you know, you might be uh, doing things where it's an individual media player or a drone or a camera. What's this? Uh, Beagle board has your... Uh, it's storage right on there. Storage built in. It's just something that someone could integrate into... Uh, another sort of device to be able to have all of the storage in This is a new uh, one with the rock chip, uh, 3188. And uh, another one right here. Uh, this is uh, NXP. Right. Right, so thanks a lot for, for all the storage. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely, thank you.